a holiday in pondicherry the europe of india the perfect substitute for an exotic european holiday would be our very own pondicherry also called the europe of india the quaint and beautiful coastal town is located on the southern tip of india and up until 1954 was a french colony the town is well planned and its streets are lined with colonial architecture churches statues etc it sees tourists pouring in from all over the world and also neighboring cities chennai and bangalore people in pondicherry largely speak english french and tamil The town is divided between the more French side which lies in the east towards the coast and the South Indian side which lies in the west. The town has a rich history and is considered a cultural hub. You can find yourself doing yoga in the morning. Pondicherry is known for yogic practices. Lunching on South Indian dishes in the afternoon. and dining on french food in the evening to digest the culinary delights you can take a stroll down the beaches or go for a bike ride with the breeze from the bay of bengal rushing through your hair best time to visit pondicherry if you are one who enjoys a mild comfortable weather then i would suggest you to visit pondicherry somewhere between october and march which is a prime tourist season pondicherry is hot and humid for most part of the year july being the hottest month you can expect discounted rates for hotels and holiday packages during these months also it is the best time if you are looking for a less crowded town to spend your leisurely time Want to go on a trip? Friends are busy. Need a travel companion? Don't worry. Now you can connect with travelers traveling to the same destination on exceders.com. All you need to do is join your city club and publish your trip plan with travel dates and place you are planning to visit. That's it. Verified tourists, travelers and backpackers looking for travel partners to the same destination will contact you. Top tourist attractions in Pondicherry. Pondicherry Museum. The museum holds rich or valuable sculptures and archaeological discoveries. It has on display the findings from the Roman Arikamedu settlement and various priceless items from the Pallava and Chola dynasties. Also, The museum has a section devoted to the French colonial rulers who had ruled over Pondicherry for many years. Oroville. It is popularly known as the city of dawn. Mira Alfasa, also known as mother, a close friend of Sri Aurobindo, founded this place with the vision that it would be a place where people from different countries would come and live in a harmonious and progressive nature in order to signify the universality oroville symbolizes soils from 124 countries which was collected and placed in an urn during its inauguration basilica of the sacred heart of jesus This church is considered to be the most beautiful church in town perhaps even in India itself Located on the Southern Boulevard it was built in 18th century during the time of the French colonial rulers It is a perfect specimen of Gothic architecture Sri Aurobindo Ashram The ashram was built by Sri Aurobindo and it is a fine example of the perfect combination of yoga and modern science throughout the year 
we can see devotees from all over the country flocking to the ashram seeking spiritual enlightenment these are just a few of the popular places however if you have extra time on your hands then you can also visit bharati park also known as garment park It is located centrally in the old colonial region. It is surrounded by major garment buildings. For example, the legislative assembly, garment hospital, etc. Botanical garden. It was built in 1826 in the French ornate style. During the weekends, you can catch the musical fountain show in the evening. Statue of Mahatma Gandhi A 4 meter tall statue of Mahatma Gandhi It is surrounded by four large granite pillars Sri Manakular Vinayagar Temple This temple existed much before the French colonists settled here That is before 1666 It also has on display 40 different forms of Lord Ganesha. Activities to do in Pondicherry. Adventure. For the adventurous traveler, you can indulge yourself in kayaking, scuba diving, backwater sailing, boating, canoeing, camping. It is available on the two popular beaches Paradise Beach and Karayal Beach. How to get to Pondicherry? Pondicherry is accessible via air, train and bus. It is well connected with Chennai and Bangalore, which is just 150 and 320 kilometers away respectively. You can also drive down the East Coast Road. It offers a beautiful view of the Bay of Bengal while traveling from Chennai to Pondicherry. Air. Pondicherry Airport is accessible by small aircrafts. You can catch these flights either from Bangalore or Hyderabad. If you are coming from any of the major cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Kochi then you can catch a connecting flight to Chennai which has a domestic and international airport it lies just 135 kilometers away from Pondicherry train the Villupuram train station is the closest at just 35 kilometers away from the town New Delhi Pondicherry Express and Nagarkoli Express are the two most popular trains connecting to Pondicherry. However, rail connectivity is also available from all the major cities like Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai, and Trivandrum. Taxi or self-drive. You can either hire a private taxi or use a personal vehicle to travel to Pondicherry from Chennai and Bangalore. It is easily accessible since Pondicherry falls on National Highway 45. Pondicherry Transportation Once you reach Pondicherry, it is now time for you to discover the rich cultural heritage that now surrounds you. In order to move comfortably and swiftly around town, You have a variety of options to choose from. A choice of options is given here. Rent a cycle or a bike. There are plenty of places where you can hire a cycle or a bike around town, especially on Mission Street. All you need is to provide an identity proof and a bail or a deposit. Catch an auto rickshaw. You can easily catch an auto rickshaw in Pondicherry. You can find plenty of them loitering around for passengers. 
they usually charge a basic minimum fare of around 25 to 35 Indian rupees, which is the starting price. Accommodation in Pondicherry If you are travelling on a low budget, then you can opt for a local guest house or an inn. The rates for rooms range from 600 to 1000 Indian rupees. However, if you are looking for something more luxurious, then there are plenty of star-rated hotels and the rates for a night stay at such a hotel can go up to 5,000 to 10,000 Indian rupees. It is always advisable to make your bookings in advance. Must try signature dishes of Pondicherry, French baguettes, South Indian thali, pizzas, cakes, desserts, salads, and the fresh seafood. Best places to eat in Pondicherry? Surguru Located on Mission Street, Surguru is a quintessential vegetarian's paradise. It provides authentic South Indian dishes in an air-conditioned environment. Also, it is in the more laid-back side of town with a peaceful atmosphere. Kasha Ki Asha Located on Rue Sarkov, you can enjoy its unique colonial craft shop cafe atmosphere. They offer breakfast, lunch and dinner with a menu that boasts of pancakes, cakes and fusion food like chips with chutney, European thali, etc. Rendezvous Located on Rui Safran, you can hope for a menu that boasts of delicacies that cater to non-vegetarians, vegetarians and vegans. It is one of the most popular dining spots in town. Coffee.com Located on Mission Street, it lies inside a heritage building. It has an old world charm with heavy wooden furnishings. It couples as an internet cafe and an eatery. They serve wonderful French baguettes and steamy coffee. There are plenty of others too, like Lake Cub, Satsanga, Madame Chante's and Baker Street among others. Now get your bags packed and your schedules cleared and make your next vacation a memorable one.